There's a famous story in Thailand where King Rama IV invited Sumdeto into the palace for Dharma talk. And Sumdeto went through all the ceremonies and rituals around the Dharma talk in the palace. But uh, the length of the talk was hardly anything at all. One sentence, everything that needs to be known, your majesty already knows. End of talk. The king was very pleased. And sometimes I have the same feeling. You, you guys know everything about the drama. You've heard it many, many times. But it does turn out that on later times, later occasions, some dead dog did give longer Dharma talks to the king. Because no matter how much you know, the question is, do you remember it, and do you remember it at the right time? Do you remember it when you need it? That's what the Dharma talk is for. It is to keep reminding you there are these points of Dharma the Buddha taught. So you're not just left adrift, trying to figure things out on your own. Here's a lot that the Buddha left behind. And it's good to remember that. This is why mindfulness is our refuge. Because if you learn things but you forget them, they, they don't do much good. Or if you can remember them, but you're not paying attention to what you're doing to see if it fits in with what the Dharma teaches, the teachings don't do you much good. Or if you know that you're not following it but you don't care, you don't put any effort and they don't do much good. It's those three qualities together that create your refuge. Mindfulness, alertness, ardency. So always remember that these things are your refuge. And then you've got your external refuge. We've got the Buddha, the Dharma, the Sangha. And we have one another practicing. The senior monks should remember that they're setting an example for the junior monks. All the monks should remember they're setting an example for the lay visitors. Lay residents. The lay residents are setting an example for the lay visitors. Now, if anything that in that chain gets broken, then a lot of a lot of good habits, a lot of good ways of doing things get forgotten. So remember, you're doing your practice for yourself, but you're also doing it for others. And as you keep these things in mind, you're a refuge for yourself, and you're an external refuge for others. And this is how we help one another along the path.